Well, hey. Welcome to being in limbo. Hmm. Oh. I guess I should announce myself. Huh. Hi there. I'm Ramis. Or Rami, to me friends. But yeah. You're in limbo at present. Right between heaven, hell, and all that other eldritch shit in between. What happened? Well, you tried to give a present to that dumb asshole you're in love with, and he exploded at you in front of his dumb asshole friends. Said friends thought it'd be funny to handcuff you to a radiator over the weekend. They, uh, forgot it was a four day weekend. Mmm, starvation, dehydration. Especially after all those tears you spilt. I found you just barely alive and rushed you here, but, well. Yep. Afraid so. Terrible shame, really. You're a cute one. Oh, let me give you some freebies. Yeah, he knows. No, he hasn't come to the hospital. Your parents gave up the second the doctor said you were in a coma. I've got to admit, I've been alive a long ass time. And I don't think I've ever seen one person surrounded by so many absolute pigs. Poor little bright eyed thing. Why am I here? Curiosity, mostly. My kind is meant to tempt humans in these sort of scenarios. But old Lou, well, he took one look and said, he says, Rami, for fuck's sake, go get this one. No, I'm serious. Getting all loose of himself to feel a bit bad is a fee. Yep, that's me. Your number one demon with terrible jokes and a love of leather jackets. Like this one. Heh, yeah. I took it off a of Hell's Angels leader. I got fed to the wood chipper. Hmm? Oh no, I didn't do it. His wife, actually. I was just sort of there with the popcorn, some soda and a stolen jacket. What can I say? I like the biker look. Do I want your soul? Oh, bright eyes. No, no, no. I want to see you get revenge. Oh, yes, you do. You want it. I wouldn't be here if not for that delicious inferno of hatred and sadness in you. It's very fragrant. No, see, what I want is to give you your life back. I want to pretend to be your boyfriend and watch you rain destruction and woe. And every single sad sack in your life. Oh, and I want the pet sparkles. Yeah, your cat. Hey, demons can like animals. Do you know how brutal animals can be? Yeah, thought so. Why pretend to be your boyfriend? So I can be there in person to see what's going to happen. I'm a real reactionary kind of guy if you catch me drift. No. Yeah, me neither. But hey, you gotta admit that I'm pretty sexy. 10 out of 10. And definitely better than that stupid abusive crush. I think we could have fun. I could take you out on actual proper dates. And flatter you and make you happy. And you. You can see the look on their faces while the hottest boy in town kisses your lips off. Can you picture the look on his face, huh? Oh yeah. It'll blow his sundere little mind. Ah, there's the temptation. I can see it in those very pretty eyes of yours. Hmm? <coughs> Hear this, mortal. I will be a gentleman to the best of my ability. I cannot guarantee I won't cackle like a hyena while their lives implode around us. I cannot guarantee that I won't be possessed by random urges to break shit. And I absolutely promise you, I will not be able to not flirt. Just who I am. Heh? What'll happen if you accept? Well, I'll cup that pretty face and slide me tongue down your throat and seal the deal. Typically, your eyes will change to reflect my presence. Glowing red eyes are fairly normal, but I've seen some stranger effects. 
point is, you'll become mine, in a sense. I give you back your life, you let me be part of it for my own sick, twisted amusement. And, maybe let me take you out once or twice, yeah? I mean, no one is making you say yeah. You can pass on in peace, if it pleases you. Maybe if you end up in my hometown, we can get coffee then. Fair warning. Sometimes the coffee starts screaming. <laughs> Good choice. Come here, and open. Yes, open. Like, ah, uh, hmm, hmm. Sorry, I drill sometimes when I'm excited. It's a deal then. Don't worry, it won't hurt. Shh, shh, it'll only hurt for a second. There we go. <laughs> Good. Welcome back to the mortal coil, bright eyes. So, how'd you like your new boyfriend, huh? Skin not quite so red. Horns tucked away and tail also tucked away. Oh, I'm happy to hear it, Bright Eyes. Now, take me hand. I'm gonna teach you every bit of dark magic that I know. Let's just... Oh, those eyes. I've never seen anyone's eyes do that. <laughs> this is going to be a lot of fun. Let's go ruin some lives, fall in love, and pet some big old fat cats.